Um, don't assume conversations are off the re record. You've probably read TechCrunch where they publish emails without editing whole emails from investors to, um, to, to, to legal to, to spats they're having. There was a famous um, spat in with Snapchat where two of the three of the founders were arguing over who actually founded it. TechCrunch just publishes everything. So it's kind of like be, it's kind of like yoga. Just be mindful. Be mindful that everything you put out into the world, every text you send to somebody, it is is easily uploadable. And um, if a journalist is trying to get your story, um, they'll stop at nothing to get your get the story. Um, so just just be mindful of that. It might seem very obvious again, but you'd be surprised at the amount of people that um, write stuff that ends up on TechCrunch or ends up on some blog. Um, so just be mindful of that. Don't launch at a bad time. Again, we have access to uh, an events calendar of Silicon Valley events. If you're trying to launch your product during Google I.O. conference or one Salesforce, Dreamforce conference, you're not going to make any noise because the whole press and media and everything is focused on that event happening. Um, so make sure you write yourself a calendar of events and make sure you, you, know, you don't launch when anything else exciting uh, and big is going on. My, again, it might seem obvious, but you'd be surprised at the amount of startups that I've seen that try to launch during Google I.O. and nobody gives a shit. Um, so just make sure you're, you're mindful of that. Don't misunderstand lead times. Um, many journalists uh, write for publications that, um, that are bi-weekly or bi-monthly. As a, as a journalist um, at The Next Web, our quota was six posts a day. That was our minimum of what we had to publish every day. So I already had my week plan of what, roughly of what I was going to publish every week. Um, so if you're sending me uh, a press release like two days, like, hey, Hermione, we're launching on Thursday. Can you cover us? No. No, I can't cover you. <laughs> no. I've got like 12 other stories I need to push out. So no, I'm not covering you. You should have thought about this before. Um, so just think about that. You know, journalists, are, uh, bloggers are very, very busy. They're up to the eyeballs and emails. They're up to the eyeballs and tweets, Facebook messages. Um, I showed you my inbox earlier. You know, we have six posts to write a day. And um, just be mindful of um, understanding that, uh, you know, bloggers aren't at your beck and call. Um, they often have uh, editorial calendars and scheduled events. 